The Love Letter Written by Anika Aldemoy denise Illustrated by Lucy Ruth Cummins Hedgehog was late. He did not like being late. It further frazzled his already prickly mood. He'd been grumbling about it to the ground when... He spotted something unusual. It was not an acorn, or a leaf, or any of the ordinary somethings he came across on his daily walk. It was a letter. This wasn't just any letter. Friend, you are a joy, a light, a secret hope, a safe good night, a face that shines just for me. When you go, I miss you so. Don't you know I love you? It was a love letter. My word, said Hedgehog, someone loves me. Then he tucked the letter into his backpack and went on his way. Bunny and Squirrel were already in the meadow. Squirrel was busy gathering acorns, while Bunny busied herself with a nap. Normally, Hedgehog liked to get there first. But today, he had a love letter and was feeling oddly cheerful. When Bunny beat him at Leap Log, high five. When Squirrel asked to share his lunch, pleasure. And when Bunny wanted a friend to walk her home, delighted. Hedgehog is being oddly cheerful, thought Bunny. She wasn't in the habit of hugging Hedgehog, but today she gave him her best bunny squeeze. She was just about to hop on home when she saw a letter lying on the ground. Friend, you are a joy, a light, a secret hope, a safe good night, a face that shines just for me. When you go, I miss you so. Don't you know I love you? My whiskers, whispered Bunny. Hedgehog loves me. Down in the rabbit hole, Mama put her straight to work. Normally, Bunny pretended to nap at chore time, but today she had a love letter and was feeling oddly helpful. When Mama said, peel the parsnips, perfect. When Sister said, set the table, surely. And when Papa said, sweep the floor, splendid. After supper, she hopped along to Squirrel's house. I brought you more acorns, said Bunny. Bunny is being oddly helpful, thought Squirrel. Before he could say, thanks a bundle, Bunny overturned her apron full of acorns onto the pile. Squirrel's neatly stacked acorns came tumbling down. Bunny should be less of a busy bunny, Squirrel sighed. Then he spotted something unusual among the acorn scatter. It was a letter. Friend, you are a joy, a light, a secret hope, a safe good night, a face that shines just for me. When you go, I miss you so. Don't you know I love you? Aw, oh, nuts, said Squirrel. Bunny loves me.
Normally, messiness made Squirrel anxious. But today, he had a love letter and was feeling oddly carefree. When Mama splashed soup on his napkin, slurp. When Papa left wood shavings on the floor, scoop. When Squirrel's teddy bears were not in size order, snore. The next morning, Hedgehog, Bunny, and Squirrel bundled up and headed to the meadow. If I do not show, Bunny will miss me so, said Squirrel. If I do not show, Hedgehog will miss me so, said Bunny. If I do not show, I might never know who sent me this love letter, said Hedgehog. No one said a word at first. The letter that had made Hedgehog cheerful and Bunny helpful and Squirrel carefree suddenly made them all shy. Squirrel gathered the courage to speak first. Bunny, he said, pulling the love letter from his pocket, I may not have your gift for words, but... My letter, said Bunny, snatching it up. My letter, cried Squirrel, grabbing it back. My letter, insisted Hedgehog, stealing it away. And on it went. Snatch, grab, steal, bicker. Until... Look what you've done, said Bunny. You ripped it, said Squirrel. Did not. Did too. Did not. Excuse me. Was that my letter? asked Mouse. Your letter, said Hedgehog. I'm not sure. What did it say? Friend. You are a joy, a light, a secret hope, a safe good night, a face that shines just for me. When you go, I miss you so. Don't you know I love you? You wrote the letter, said Bunny. But who is it for? The moon, said Mouse. Why does the moon need a love letter? asked Hedgehog. Because I'm a small mouse in a dark forest, and the moon is my very good friend. Don't you have a very good friend? Hedgehog, Bunny, and Squirrel looked from one to the other. They were good friends. Friends who shared their lunch? and walked each other home, and gave hugs, and brought acorns. This was all a terrible mix-up, said Hedgehog. The love letter never really belonged to any of us, added Bunny. We shouldn't be arguing over something we never had, Squirrel sighed. Mouse looked at their long faces. When you thought the letter was for you, how did you feel? she asked. Cheerful, said Hedgehog. Helpful, said Bunny. Carefree, said Squirrel. And? asked Mouse. Loved. Then I'd call that a wonderful mix-up said Mouse. The End Have you ever received a letter that made you feel loved? Is there someone that you can write a letter to to make them feel loved? Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star.
Until next time, keep reading.